when we take the derivative of a function over another function, we have to use quotient rule. And for quotient rule, there's a little thing you have to memorize, which is, you take your bottom function, multiply it by the derivative of the top, minus your top function, multiply it by the derivative of the bottom, and that's all over your bottom function squared. Now that's a lot to memorize. So, there's a poem, and it's cute, so yay. It says, low d high minus high d low over low squared below. Your low function low, d high, the derivative of the top function, minus high, your top function, d low, the derivative of your bottom function, all over low squared below. So, low d high minus high d low over low squared below. Memorize that and you'll be good. I actually still use that when I even do these problems. Let's take a look. Here we have the derivative of sine of x over e to the x. Using our quotient rule, we have low, which is e to the x, d high, the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, minus high, which is sine of x, d low, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, all over low squared below. Let's make this look a bit nicer. Here we have e to the x times cosine of x minus e to the x times sine of x all over e to the x squared is just e to the 2x since we multiply the exponents. And of course, I could actually just uh, divide everything by e to the x. That might make things look a bit nicer. So here we have cosine of x minus sine of x all over e to the x. And that is the derivative. Let's take a look at another one. Here we have the derivative of the natural log of x over tangent x. So we have low d high, low is tangent x, d high is the derivative of natural log of x, which is just one over x, minus high, which is the natural log of x, d low, the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. And that's all over low squared below, that's tan squared x. And here is our derivative. We could make it look a bit nicer, but there really is no point. At this point, I'll just plug in the number that we're taking the derivative of, or whatever's happening, just do it. But here is the derivative, and it's nasty. Let's take a look at another problem the derivative of cosine of x over x plus one. So here we have low d high. Low is all of x plus one. d high, the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x minus high, that's cosine of x, times d low, the derivative of my bottom is one, all over low squared below, that's x plus one quantity squared. And of course here, you could begin to make it look a bit nicer. We could, for example, put the negative sine of x in front of the x plus one minus cosine of x, and that's all over x plus one squared. And there we are, there's our derivative. What is the instantaneous rate of change at x equals two of the function f given by f of x equals x squared minus two over x minus one? Instantaneous rate of change implies derivative. We want the derivative at x equals two of f. So to take the derivative of f, we have to use quotient rule because we have a polynomial over another polynomial. So here we go, low d high, 
we've got x minus 1 times the derivative of the top, which is 2x minus high d low. Our top function, our high, is x squared minus 2. d low, the derivative of the bottom, is just 1, all over low squared below, and that's going to be x minus 1 quantity squared. You could make f prime of x look a bit nicer. However, that's not the point here. The point here is to find the derivative at x equals 2. So let's just plug in 2. f prime of 2 is equal to 2 minus 1 times 2 times 2. That's 4 minus 2 squared is 4 minus 2 is 2 all over 2 minus 1 squared, that's 1. So f prime of 2 is just 2. An equation of the line tangent to the graph of y equals 2x plus 3 over 3x minus 2 at the point 1 comma 5 is what? Well first we have to find the slope of our tangent line. To find the slope of our tangent line we'll take the derivative of y and plug in 1. So y prime is equal to, to find y prime we have to use quotient rule. Quotient rule says we do low which is 3x minus 2, d high, which is 2, minus high, 2x plus 3, d low, which is 3, all over low squared below. Here we have 3x minus 2 quantity squared. Let's do this out. We'll distribute the 2, yielding 6x minus 4. We'll distribute the 3, so we have minus 6x minus 9, because negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, all over quantity 3x minus 2 squared. Well, 6x minus 6x, that cancels out. And negative 4 minus 9 is negative 13. So here we have negative 13 over 3x minus 2 squared. And this is our derivative dy over dx. At the point 1 comma 5, we can plug in 1. We get negative 13 over 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 is 1 squared gives us 1. So the slope of our tangent line at the point 1 is negative 13. And so we have point slope form y minus 5 is equal to our slope negative 13 times x minus 1. And here is the tangent line of y equals 2x plus 3 over 3x minus 2 at the point 1 comma 5.